YouTube. What's good? Today, Puzzle Nanny here, back in with another video. And this video today is going to be Money in the Bank 2014 Review. Review. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, join with me, as always, is Joe. Hi. What's up, everyone? And, of course, back again, better than ever. And. <laughs> Just, just got ever. back from the performance training center in <laughs> yes, Orlando, it Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. LC Muscles. Got to try. Got to try out. Didn't work out. But yeah. hey, we're we're happy. We're thankful. So um, this is going to be our Money in the Bank 2014 review. Um, we're going to do things a little bit differently today. Um, we're going to be doing our own individual. Or we're going to be breaking up the card. Each of us is going to be talking about a certain match. Certain segment, whatever, what have you, not there. So, um, yeah, we're who wants to get started? Oh, well, <laughs> what is it? Pre show? Pre show. Did oh. you see the pre show? I did not see the pre show. I did not see the pre show either. Fuck. So, that's you. Fuck. All right, so the pre show featured Daniel Bryan giving his address to the WWE Universe about how he's coming out along with his neck surgery and, um, doesn't look good, to be honest with you. It, it does not look good. I'm not really... I'm not happy about it because he is one of my favorite wrestlers in the WWE. But, um, he will be back. He will be better than ever. Yes, 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 you guys. Yes, Chad. And then, Bo Dallas comes out, which is probably one of the funniest segments um, I've ever seen because... Well, not ever seen, but on the pre-show, at least, you know? You know, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, right? Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, because he comes out... Oh, that has to be a pain in the neck. <laughs> All you have to do is believe. <laughs> and then, oh, wow. and then Brian calls him a boner or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he really did. He called him a freaking boner. I don't, I don't know what, what it has to do with oh, anything. Oh, wow. And, um, yeah, that was a free show, I guess. <laughs> Pretty much it. Okay, so to start the show... We have the Tag Team Championship match, which is between the Usos and the team that has, uh, according to a lot of people's opinions, the worst, uh, what is it, the worst entrance of all time, or the worst music mm -hmm. of all time. I agree. Because uh, number one is Emma, and they're saying number two is the Wyatt families. Or, <laughs> or I should say the tag team of the Wyatt family, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Mm. Because as soon as the whole He's Got the Whole World song started getting played more and more often, it started agitating a lot of the IWC fans out there. So, you know, I, I tend to think that if they got rid of the opener of that and they just kept the rock music or the rock version or whatever that sounds like, then yeah, I would actually say, yeah, keep it. But Generic heavy metal. Yeah. But hey, yeah, because that's Bray White's music. Yeah. You, can't, you can't give it to everybody. Let him, let him, let him be different. But anyway, so the tag team match was actually, you know, Usos have been coming into their own. They're really good in terms of being a tag team. They really blend well together. The, I love the make, the face paint that they put on themselves. They got the charisma. They've got the, you know, they wow the crowd. The crowd is into them. The Wyatt family, they're, what's, what's some great workers they are. Let me tell you, you know, Woo. Luke Harper, man, I'm telling you, for a big guy doing dives like that, Doing the moves that he does, like the drop kicks or whatever, you don't see that from a lot of big men. That clothesline, though. Yeah, yeah but yeah. that clothesline, though. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Eric Rowan is really one of the. And Eric Rowan's one of those guys that is just a hard hitting brawler type of deal, so which you don't see very much very often. He's kind of like the. Uh, okay, he. <laughs> they kind of look like Bruiser Brody a little bit. Well, Luke Harper does, but oh, Eric, wow. Eric Rowan's like the red. It was like the redheaded version of Bruiser Brody. Bruiser Brody. <laughs> and anyway, but you know, with that brawling style and the and the high flying that the Usos bring, it was a great way to open the show. A lot of great moves, a lot of memorable stuff that they put on there. One of the best matches. I would say it was the best match on the entire show. Wow. And that match stole the show more than the two ladder matches. And I'll go that far. I will go that actually that far. Because when we get to the ladder matches, I'll explain I'll explain my Opinions why I didn't like them. All right, so this is the Divas match, it, Divas Championship match. It had Paige who upset AJ Lee, and ever since she upset AJ Lee, she's been cruising along for the Divas, for the with the Divas title. 
And Naomi's definitely one of the people, definitely someone that they didn't see at the beginning as a contender, but she proved herself to be a contender. This match was interesting. It had a couple of good, couple of good turnarounds. Naomi had some good moves in the match. So did Paige, but Paige, I thought, was more dominant in the long, in the like longer period of the match. Naomi had a few, a little bit of time, like showing, like showing what she could do, but in the end, Naomi was no match for Paige. She just. Crushed Naomi pretty much. It really was not that close. It's definitely an interesting Diaz match, but I just wasn't a big fan of this match. So she, even though it just looks like Paige is pretty much gonna be a, a great diva, Diva's champ to come until AJ Lee challenges her again. And Paige is pretty hot, so that's also another. Oh uh, well, you forgot to mention something. Uh, the tension between Cameron and Naomi. They oh, total yeah, divas. That. Yeah, they might. Um, Cameron didn't look interested at all. She just had that, like, yeah, no. Oh, um, yeah, I remember that. Like, yeah. I remember seeing that in the match. She really she was like, eh, I guess I'm going to look at this other fan. Oh, look at my nails. Oh, ooh, pom-poms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. Bullshit. All that stuff. It really just wasn't, like, she, I just think that Paige is definitely just more of a Divas champion than Naomi. So, that's why Paige won. What a difference a year makes. I mean, Sandow, Damien Sandow, was Mr. Money in the Bank last year, and now he's doing this comedic every single week. He's got a new character. This, uh, for Money in the Bank, it was Paul Revere, because they were in Boston, and, ba and Paul Revere did the whole Boston Tea Party thing um, many, many moons ago. But Sandow decided to um, do that as a character. Out comes... Mr. Rosebud, uh, Adam Rose, and this is basically a squash match. I don't really need to say that much about it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Adam Rose. I'm not a Rosebud. I'm a proud lemon and damn proud of it. Um, yeah, it's just sad. What a difference a year makes. I mean, he, Mr. Money in the Bank last year, and he lost to Cena. Everybody thought it was going to be, oh, he lost to John Cena. He lost his Money in the Bank contract to John Cena. Everybody thinks, oh, this is going to be great for him. He's going to have the best year ever. It was going to be so good for him. Not so much. Not so much. Um, you know, it's basically a squash match. That's all I have to say about all that. Right, now let's talk about the briefcase money in the bank ladder match. It's gold this time. Yes, it will probably it is. be gold, gold for the rest cool. of the time. I'm good. Because they're going to have one belt. We got, yes, Rob Van Dam, Jack Swagger, Dolph Ziggler, Kofi Kingston, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Okay, match was Pretty predictable. Good. I enjoyed this match. That, I the enjoyed one thing that hurt it, it was the most predictable match on the whole show. No, no. It yeah, I was. Because when you think about it, when you have Triple H constantly saying that Seth Rollins is winning this match, you know, are you that. not gonna? No, I know that. I know that booking style. I know it was gonna go this way. They were gonna do some type of thing where somebody screws Dean Ambrose. Because honestly, did you really think any of the other competitors were going to win? That was stupid. That was so really stupid. Good. Did you really think any of the other competitors were winning? I thought RVD was. He was could have had a chance. Could have RVD. What? No. Kofi RVD. Kingston. Kofi Kingston was almost there. He was almost. Okay. He was almost there. He could have just ripped the bam. No, yeah, because he was there. He had to slow it down so that somebody could get him. <laughs> he could have easily gotten it, but you know this is not real. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but still. Okay, RVD is four years old. Obviously, they're not going to put the belt on a four-year-old man. And plus the, mar mar the whole marijuana thing. You know how they, how they feel about mm -hmm. that. Kofi Kingston, he's going to... They just give it up he's on him. He's still in mid-card hell. And they, for, they continue to will be. And you know it the sucks. whole Dolph Ziggler concussion controversy. I don't yeah, remember Because, that. you know, they'll give, though, they'll give the belt to Wade Barrett even though he injures his shoulder every year. What about... And then what they about don't, Dolph Ziggler's interest with Big Eagle Guerrero? What? I think I might have held him back too. Well, oh, that was uh, that was like years ago. Years ago. ago. That was what? like this year. Oh, they're not. No, it was it. not. Well, no, was. They weren't going to give it to Swagger because he's feuding with Rusev now. Yep, I remember that. So, Which is good. And I'm missing one other person. Ambrose. Amber. No, no, no. It's Rollins. No, someone else. No, that was it. That was it. It was yep. just the six of them. Yep. It was six. It was Bad News Barrett was in there, but he oh got yeah, and then he got. Yeah, I kept Unfortunately. it. Yeah. yeah, so I knew it was going to come down to those two, Rollins and Ambrose, but I knew Ambrose was going to get screwed. By Kane, of all people. No, first he got screwed by the doctor. Yeah. Yeah, there's like, you Pop have to leave. Pop it back in. Pop my shoulder back in. No. Oh, I'm leaving. No. Yeah. 
but it then, comes back yeah. out and no, the I mean, crowd was, erupts and that and, was great. And the one thing that also hurt it was the, the you know those little things on the ring posts where the flames shoot out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I saw them before the match started. So I knew Kane oh, was coming. Yeah. yeah. Before the match started, you they cuz cuz they knew cuz I knew Kane was going to come out. Huh. Because when those when those flame posts are out there, you well, know that, that they you know save it for later though. No, no, no. Because you in knew the, he was in the, the old, in the old days. They used to just keep it there, but now for a specific segment, they put it on the ring post before wow. the match, so you could honestly. I did not notice that. Yeah, that's how I, I knew did. back in 2010, Kane was winning the briefcase because oh. he didn't do his pyro yet. So I was like, "Up, oh, he won." I did not know that. But now I knew he was coming in. He was going to screw him over, so that huh. ruined the match for me. So I was like, huh. "He's going to screw Ambrose. Rollins is going to win." Wow. So that's why I didn't like it, because it was too predictable. I thought it was okay. Yeah, I thought it was a great match. I mean, it was definitely the better of the two ladder matches. Yes, it was. Actually, I agree with you, Alex. It was better than the two ladder matches. <laughs> yeah, I'll two, say that too. Better than the two ladder matches. <laughs> um, I will say, though, that this did have a lot of high spots. It did. Um, of course, Kofi Kingston having his moments in the, with the ladder matches and all that stuff. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um,. The right guy won, I will say. I yes. think so. I think he did. They're I think trying the to, right guy won. Yeah. They're trying to build him to be the new CM Punk. So. Only this time they're going to... This win. time he's going to stay. No, he's not going to quit. No, this time he's going to be what they wanted CM Punk to be all these years. Yeah. A corporate ass kisser? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to do my best Stardust impression while he basically explains the match. You ready? Yeah. Go ahead. So pretty much the match was coming up, and Stardust is a new character from Cody Rhodes that pretty much came up recently. Like, I, when I first saw Stardust come up, like, for the match, it was so stupid. I literally looked at him like, is this real? <clears throat> Does Cody Rhodes stoop this low to try and get people to like him so he creates a Goldust ripoff? What a joke. The whole Tim and Dusty Rhodes as Goldust was pretty much a bad team. Ryback's Baxel is not that much better anyway. This is pretty much just like one of the worst tag matches I've seen in a long while. This match is just plain dumb. There's some stupid ma- stupid parts of the match. Like, I feel like it felt like Cody I can't Rhodes, do this. Thing. It felt like Cody <laughs> Rhodes and Dusty. It felt like Goldust and Stardust had no chemistry at all. Ryan well, Maxwell has some chemistry, but this looks like a sloppy tag match that pretty much just puts, oh, let's put you two random superstars and you two superstars together and fight. Yeah. Because we need more tag matches. Yep. No. That's pretty much what it felt like. It pretty much, none of really didn't have much chemistry. I really have not liked Ryback since he came back. <laughs> this is so stupid. What? Remember the way he said, <laughs> feed me more. 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 You remember that? Feed me more. That's so... Uh, Never liked that. No, I, am, I did not like that. Curtis Assel is really just a low mid card superstar too. It just felt really dumb. I really didn't care for this match at all. Stardust, most pointless character. It is. They're just point. trying to keep Cody Rhodes on the roster. That's Pretty the much. only thing I can say at this point. Me They're too. trying to keep him on there, and they don't want to release him because he's Dusty Rhodes' son. Pretty much, yeah. And when you wish upon a star. Oh dear, God. oh dear God! It's only a matter of time before he starts singing more Disney songs. Like, wish I could be part of your world. No way, no way, no. Uh, the only the funniest thing if he dressed oh, up like yeah. Gaston. He starts singing Gaston. <laughs> no, no, no. That would be that, so that's dumb. That's the wrong. That's the wrong. Match. I know. I'm just the saying, wrong bodybuilder. I just say that would be dumb though if he did that. <laughs> anyway, this match was pointless. Yeah. This is one of the worst tag matches we I've seen in a long time. We already saw it on Raw. I really don't care for this match at no. all. Why no, did you just leave on paper? It is. This is up my alley. <laughs> I guess so, because we're talking about the bodybuilder body match. Well, it's not really a... What? Versus Big E. Is that what you call the muscles now? No, I'm just saying. Like, one side is Rusev, the other side Big E, then they clash again. That's, oh. what I was trying to, that's what I was trying to get to. The more you know. Do, 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 do. Anyway, um, so this match was basically what we saw at... What well, No, Payback. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the flags work. and the oh, things. Oh, dear God. God. <laughs> that's like they're playing lightsabers in their, <laughs> their stupid oh. flags. And... Flags as lightsabers is not a good business idea. I guess not. Mm-hmm. But um, the, the match, though... 
Oh. <laughs> Do I really need to explain this? I mean, Not it's really. Just it's like... just two big guys only. <laughs> Power slam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's about what it is. <laughs> oh, dear yeah. God. I, I... Wow. <laughs> What the match was like. Rusev, Rusev wins. Pretty much. Oh, uh, not even close. Is there another Divas match? Yes, there are two Divas Wait, matches. But this one They must featured... really hate the fans that much, huh? No, I guess. They do. But this one featured Fondango as a oh, special guest God. referee. <laughs> do, 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 do. Last year. Yeah. Last year. Anyway, this one featured Layla versus Summer Rae. And this will most likely be on Total Divas. Yes, it will. <sighs> um, this is probably why they're doing these matches, just so for the, so they can prepare for the next season of the show, which comes back in August next month. So you yes. know, so they already got their clips, and you know that the whole Naomi Cameron thing, and now this is gonna happen. Uh, uh-huh. Blah blah blah. Yep. Blah, blah. Pretty much. This is just uh, for the. Um, what was it? For their rightful right. services of Fandango, whoever wins gets... Whoever, yeah, whoever wins gets to be their girlfriend. Yeah. His girlfriend or whatever. I guess so. Stupid, Why stupid, stupid, I guess, idea, stupid yeah. stipulation yeah, for a match. Why well, couldn't I be the special guest referee? Why not because be? you're not... Because you're not Fandango. Fandango. Well, I'm not you don't playing. dance. You can't, I don't dance, but... You I can't dance, muscles. you can't sing. Um, well, Fandango can't sing either. That's okay. And he doesn't... And he botches his own promos. <laughs> I wouldn't botch my own promos, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't. Anyway. Yeah, this match um, was not CM good. Punk! CM Punk! <laughs> CM Punk! <laughs> and, then the, for? Yeah. and then there's a fan behind him going, Guys, please stop. Please stop. <laughs> Just stop with the chants. Please. Is that really? Yeah, there was a fan out there. Whenever the CM Punk fan starts... He's just going, no, please stop. Don't, <laughs> Don't do stop it. Can you get that guy out of here? The guy that was trying to stop the CM Punk chant. No, no. They're not going to eject fans out of there. Unless they did like a 10 bell ring for like, and then they's like, fuck this. Then they did check him. Oh, that's right. I remember seeing that. Yeah. Oh. But anyway. Yeah, this, this match was bad. It was like three minutes long. Bad. You didn't feel bad for Summer Rae because she's a terrible actress at crying. And she's just a... <laughs> <laughs> And from what I hear, she's a terrible, terrible person in general. Oh, she is. Well, yeah, she, well, she doesn't have a face like a... She doesn't have the face of somebody that's like, oh, she looks like a good person. Like a Tori Wilson. Yeah, something like that. Back she's, in the day. Yeah, and, and she's the baby face of the whole thing? Nope. She doesn't So look. these were two heel divas going at it. Yeah. What's the point of doing a heel versus heel match? You're watching two villains that you don't like, that you're not supposed to like, go no, at no, each other. They, that's they, like if they... Had Darth Vader versus uh, the Emperor Darth go at it. Or Boba Fett. Yeah. But Boba Fett would win that easily. Yeah. No, Boba Fett's the special guest referee. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. No. It was like, whoever wins is the side that I join. What? What? <laughs> they're, they're the same. The Sith. They're both the Sith. They're both I Sith. Don't, I don't know. I don't... So, see, that's, it. that's typical WWE writing. They would, they would break up the Emperor and Darth Vader... And they would have Boba Fett as the special guest referee, and whoever wins gets to take him to his side, the dark side. Unbelievable. See, that's WWE writing there. This is if they had a hold of Star Wars, that's what they would do. Yeah, but they, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. This is why they should never write for anything ever again, including the match like this. Nobody wants to see this. Did you want? It's to see a that? bathroom break match. So we had two bathroom breaks, really. No, we only. Had- Needed. We only needed one, but we gave. They gave us two because yeah. they love us so much, <laughs> or hate us so much, or something like that. This is my impression of all of the authority figures in the back. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> we're making money either way. Yeah. but we're losing it at the same. Oh, time. we're losing it at the same time. We just lost over a million, more than almost close to a billion dollars. So fuck you. Oh all right. my. All right. God. So this main event, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man. <laughs> Well, um... Can we say the first botch is going to be on Glatchamania? Probably. The one where Roman Reigns hit Randy Orton on the head and he started bleeding? 
wasn't a botch. That was a botch. Wasn't that a was botch? a total botch right there. Yeah. Because the ladder wasn't supposed to hit Orton on the head. But it did. But it did, and he ended up bleeding because of it. Yeah, yeah. and he also had to get 12 stitches for that. Staples. Staples. Staples which is yeah. even worse. Yeah. Because it's it's in the head. It's yeah. deep in the head. you got to get staples in there. Yeah. That sucks. Ooh. Um, and plus, he doesn't have any hair. So, this match featured Kane, Randy Orton, <laughs> Roman Reigns, fuck. Cesaro. Oh, Cesaro. Cesaro. Um, Do you mention Sheamus? Sheamus. Okay. Damn right. it. Cena. Right. Let me look. Cena, Cesaro, Sheamus, Del Rio. Oh, Del Kane, Rio. Or Bray Wyatt and Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns. Okay, that's eight. Yeah, that's eight. All right. I, I apologize. I didn't. Know. By the way, Bray Wyatt got the loudest pop of that of that whole crew. And he, he deserved did. to. Definitely. And he deserved to. You know why? Because he's a compelling. Character. He he's is. the most compelling character in the WWE. He is. He well, needs to be a champion. champion of course. Even, even if it is US or Intercontinental or WWE, he needs to be champion. Absolutely. I agree 100%. But now he's feuding, but he's with, Chris, not. He's feuding with Chris Jericho. Yeah, you know why? Which is even better for him. You know why? Because unlike Cena, Jericho will put people over. Mm-hmm. He will. <laughs> He will do the best. What is best for business? Well, literally and figuratively. Well, wait till Cena turns forty, just like Jericho. When Cena turns forty, he'll think he'll realize it. No, he won't. Because they're not going to put the belt on a forty-year-old guy anymore. They're going to say, Cena, you're you're done. You're past your prime. Just he'll be, he'll be an eighteen-time world champion. It'll be bullshit. It will be bullshit. <laughs> Ric Flair's record, and which should never happen in the first. Place. No. no, they're going. No, no, they're going to go to hold the John Cena's greater than Ric Flair deal. You know they're gonna do that. That's that's <laughs> not true. So the match. Oh. So the match though. Um, it's wow, bad. How boring was that? It was basically yeah. yeah I, I mean, was I was basically on Facebook throughout the entire match. Yeah, yeah. Too. it was basically everyone trying to hit their finishing maneuvers. There was nothing. That was over, at the end mostly. Yeah, but they were trying to do it at the end. But I mean, they when they have a great third act of a match. But they don't really do anything to help you like, with the first act or the first or the second yeah. act of the part of the match. God, was it boring? Yeah, that, it was so boring. Fine. And so of course, dumb. the obvious botch I just mentioned with the Randy Orton bleeding yeah. thing. I mean, you're not. I mean, they. I don't think they plan on any person to bleed during a match. Unless like, it's a, like a hardcore or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. But there. But this was unplanned. He was like, that was a literal hit on the. Head with the ladder. Oh my god. You know, Kane being there didn't help matters no, because no. he was just helping Randy Orton. You know, no. I was expecting a twist where Ra- Kane helps Randy Orton, but Kane choke slams Randy Orton and, and then gets the, the gets the titles and mm-hmm. claims them for himself. Oh. That See, that nice. would have been a cool that would have been a cool twist. That would have no. been a cool twist. But, but no. But at the same yeah, but no. But no. Guess who gets the championship, guys? Like I said, would happen because obviously, I, I, right. I, I don't like to be right about this because I don't want to see another title reign out of Cena. But, but you were. obviously, they got to put the belt on Lesnar, and Cena is the only one I think that they can actually take it from that would actually mean something. Yeah, but here's here's my thing with all that. Brock Lesnar, um, Brock Lesnar, coming back at SummerSlam. He's like, oh my gosh, he's going to save us from Cena. This is the same guy that broke the streak, who's supposed to be the most evil guy. So you got to get behind Lesnar, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't understand that. That makes okay. no sense at all. Okay, so here's how I would look at this. Lesnar wins at SummerSlam. Doesn't defend the belt until the Royal Rumble. Because they could go the whole route of, you know, we want to try to bring legitimacy back to this world title. He's not going to defend it until January. But then oh. WrestleMania comes along, Roman Reigns wins. So what better way of giving Roman Reigns the monster the monster push and the monster getting over than putting make, making him beat the guy to beat Undertaker and John Cena. Or or Brian comes back, wins the rumble, and gets another main event. No, I think match. I think they're I think they're done with Brian. No, they're not. They I think they're. I think Brian. they're done with Brian. I think they're going to try to go with Roman Reigns. They what should. about what it's, about what about Wyatt? No, what Roman about Brian. Brian? No, Roman Reigns. Right Roman Reigns is the guy they're going for. They're the guy they're going to push, and this is a good reason because 
Listen, Roman Reigns did well in that match. He did. I will he say. Did, his, really I mean, did. his Superman punches look good. Oh. That, that move where he, where this guy on the on the bottom rope oh, and he good. jumps up and he punch and does that move. <laughs> God, I mean, he's solid in the ring. He, he looks cool. Solid. He looks like a guy that everyone can go and for. And he does a better spear than he's, Batista. And he's he related does. to. The, <laughs> he does yeah, good. yeah, it looks believable. And he look, and he's the and he's a member Someone. of. Yeah, Small and he's, family, and which he's is part good. of the Rock's family. Yeah, that's great. Are they cousins? Right. Yeah, they're cousins. Yeah, so he's the cousin Second of the Rock. Second cousin, se- twice removed, some of the something like that. But and, you know, so he, come Man. on, the long hair. I mean, he's a family man too, which yeah. is obviously what you can get behind. And he played for the Jacksonville Jaguars. He did. Yeah. Really? Man, in the when preseason. Did, when did this happen? Yeah, you didn't see Wikipedia. No, I didn't. Yeah, he played for. He was a Jack. He was a football player. Yeah, he played uh, Georgia Tech. Oh, in college, cool. and he played for the Jaguars. Was he drafted? Like, no. Okay. Undrafted. So obviously he wasn't good at football. Mm. So he, I went, still so he if, basically pulled what the Rock did. If you I know. were a GM, I would give him a chance. Look, look. <laughs> so he's basically like the he's the new Rock now. Played for you know Rock played for UM. Yeah. Didn't get drafted. Yeah. So he went to wrestling and became yep. a huge star. Yeah. So you think Roman Reigns is going to do the same thing? Huh. He's going to be. He was an undrafted football player, comes to wrestling, gets over big, and then becomes a huge movie star. No, he's not going to be a movie star. No, you don't well, think he's so? going to do. He's going to become a champion. He'll be a champion. Well, player. obviously that. But he, here's a guy that looked good in that match. Bray Wyatt looked great in that match. He the did. cheer, the poppy guy. That just should tell you right now he should be a baby face. And he should be champion. He should be champion. I it doesn't matter which one it is. No, he'll win the Intercontinental Battle Royal. Put the belt on him that no, way. No, no. He's already has a match, though, against Jericho. Have him win the t- title there, and then have him face Jericho. Hmm. Or the title. Ah. See, there you I go. See, that. that's, see you... So, anyway, that's that's a different video for a different time. Money in the Bank, this match was not good. It was it, terrible. The right guy won. It was predictable. We all knew it was I didn't want him to win. Although, I, I did not want him to be him. Me either. I didn't um, either, but I, you know, you have to do what's best for business. So. No, no wonder why they're losing. They're losing oh, a hey, million dollars. The video game just came out with him on the cover. So you remember after Raw, they had him come out with the video oh game. Oh my god! So that's another reason why they put the belts on him because he's oh got to push the video god. game. You don't need to push a video game. It's you a video game. You don't need to push. Hey, okay, they're gonna they're gonna try to push their own products, dude. They're, but it's a video it's game. A video. It's, a, it's a billion billion multi billion dollar industry. They don't need to push a game. And if it's their own product, they will. They will. It's WWE. They will push anything that their fingerprints are on. Anyways, oh um, why is John Cena? What would you product? give this pay per view out of ten, guys? Five, four, six. Best match of the night was tag team match. The the first ba- bl- bl- first rumble ladder match. The con I I agree with Lucas. I think it's the contract ladder match. Worst match of the night. Every undercard match. <laughs> you they fix all this one? no, they're all equally bad. <laughs> they person. were not. They didn't need to be on the card. This was a three match pay per view. Mm-hmm. Rusev versus Biggie. Yeah, that's gonna pretty much it. explain that. Um, my worst match is probably Layla versus um, Summer, <laughs> Summer Rae. Rae. This did not need to be on the pay per view. This should have been the pre show match. They should have had. They should have had Brian on the pay per view explaining his neck neck issues on the actual pay per view. Oh, speaking of which, we didn't talk about the Stephanie McMahon Bella Twin segment. Oh. No. Do we really need to? Do we really need to? No. Okay. Because it's the that. stupid throwing up in the pool full of shit. Yeah, yeah. let's let's not let's, let's not go through that. that. Anyway, um, so yeah, thank you, LC Muscles. Always glad to be here. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. And I, of course, am A Puzzle Nine. Until my next video, this is A Puzzle Nine saying peace out, baby. See you guys next time. See you there. Stay awesome. And that's not real. That's steroids. No, it is. It's real. <laughs> Stay swole. <laughs>